1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises on our glory. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan. Since I let this brother Marcus out from a trend that camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be good company and bad company. All right? You know, as men being in the truth, we supposed to know the difference between the both. Pursuant to Ezekiel chapter 44, I believe it's 25, it says they shall teach them the difference between the holy and profane. All right? And as, also as the scripture said, you know, what Concord had a, a, a wolf with a hyena. All right? And because we have, you know, been made new in Yahweh Shai, then we supposed to separate ourselves, being new men, from the things of the old man, from the things of the world. All right? Therefore, we're not supposed to, you know, as, as much as the scripture said, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, he sat with publicans and, and halas and whatnot. All right? Because the scripture said he came to call the sinners to repentance. But when... Let's say you, you're not out there teaching, all right? You shouldn't, you shouldn't be, you know, going out and hanging out and, and going and, and chill with two thirds, you know, like, you know, like, you know, making them your, your, your entourage, you know, like, you, you only around the, the brethren when it's time to do the works, but, you know, six days a week or how many days that you're not doing the works or whatever the case might be, you know, you're out there and it is, you're always socializing with two thirds, you're making... You know, you're always going out with them. You're always, you, basically, you're dealing with two-thirds. You're making, you're making two-thirds your, your, your main entourage. And really and truly, it's not supposed to be like that. All right? It's not supposed to be like that because as the scripture has read, evil communication corrupt good manners. All right? They are the, 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 the man that you just let go. So you would want to get away from that man as much as possible. All right, because the Lord actually weaning you from the world, and they are of the world, they are of the world, so therefore, you'd want to be you know apart from them as much as possible, all right, because they are good company and they are bad company, all right. You know, a lot of times you're on job sites and during lunch hour, that is, that is all guys talk about, you know, adulterous conversations, who wife they had sex with, you know, all these, all these sorts of things, all right, and that will corrupt. Your good manners, that would actually take you back to a place where you don't want to be. All right? Let's say you had a smoking, you know, spirit on you before you came in the truth. But when you came in, you know, you start fighting that demon. So you are wrong brethren that actually helping you fighting that demon. But then you start hanging out with that old crew. And then guess what? You start to be enticed. The scripture said, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces him. You know, the way of the wicked will start seducing you, making you want to start a smoke again, making you think about smoking and how it felt. All right? So you 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 would not want to to be in, in that social group anymore. You'd want to disassociate yourself with the things of the world. And, you know, and as the second scripture here says what? In 1 Corinthians 15, 34, it says, I wake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of Yahweh, I speak this to your shame. All right? And there are some men who, and those are the men that actually want to continue associating themselves with the congregation of the world. All right? The scripture said, if you don't hate your father, your mother, your sister, your children, for his name's sake, then you're not worthy of him. You cannot, you cannot be partakers of the Lord cup and be partakers with the world. It's either or. And that is actually being lukewarm. Wanting to be in the world and out the world at the same time. All right? And you, you, can't, you can't do both. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 2. It says, Depart from the unjust, and iniquity shall turn away from thee. All right? The, script, 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 also, the scriptures also said, Um... He that is friend with a thief hated his own soul. He heard cursing and berated not. You gonna see the wicked people of the world doing wickedly. The scripture said the wicked gonna do wickedly. And guess what? You ain't gonna tell them nothing about it because you know that every time you rebuke them, you know they will curse you out. They don't want to hear that. 
So therefore, to continue hanging out with them, you're going to turn an eye to what they're doing. All right? You're going to turn an eye to what they're doing. So guess what? You you stop hanging around with that group. Stop stop making two-thirds your company. Because guess what? Two-thirds will actually have you going back steady and steady back into the world. Especially if you're hanging with a, the group that you once hung with before you came in the truth. You're not stronger than Satan. Guess what? These demons are going to infiltrate your mind and have, before you know it, you're back into the world. Before you know it, you're back into the world. There's good company and there's bad company. The good company is the men that actually are awake in righteousness. The bad company are those that want to be righteous and do the things of the world. As the scripture said in 1 Peter 4 and 4, where told they speak it evil of you because you run not with them with the same excess of right. All right, because you're not doing worldly and negative things with them, guess what? They're gonna speak evil of you. But if they're speaking of you, the scripture say, Warn to you when all men shall speak well of you. All right, then guess what? If everybody's speaking well of you, then you're doing something wrong. But if they're not hating you for the, for your how shy's name and for the doctrine's sake, then guess what? You're doing something wrong if they're not hating you for your how shy's sake. But if they're doing this, then guess what? You're in the right company. All right. Because you are no longer that man they once knew and, and once loved. Alright? It says, Depart from the unjust and iniquity shall turn away from thee. The more you are wrong the unjust, the more you're going to get yourself in problems. And the problem is not going to stop until you detach yourself from worldly elements. Alright? This is the book of 1 John chapter 4 and verse 5. It says they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hear with them. So they are of the world. Alright? The world of his own. Alright? And you not of the world. So therefore you're not supposed to be mingling with the people of the world. Alright? This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, Can two walk together except they be agreed? Alright? Can two walk together except they be agreed? If you believe in Yahweh Hashem and you believe in cleanness, and they believe in Jesus, Allah, whatever the case is, or Selassie, and they want to do uncleanness, how the two of you gonna agree? What agreements, the scripture said, what agreements had the lion and the hyena? How can the two of you agree and be in the same social group? When both of your lifestyles are totally different. At some point, it's going to cross. And you're going to have to just detach yourself from them. But if you find yourself being around them, both companies, you know, it, it just chill. Then guess what? Something is wrong. Then you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're actually trying to be a man of the Lord when you're around the brethren. And be a man of the world when you're around the, your, your worldly company. And you can't be both. The scriptures talk about how double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You can't be both. You can't be for the Lord and for the world at the same time. Alright? You can't be for the Lord and for the world at the same time. It don't work. Righteousness and iniquity cannot dwell in the same body at the same time. If you can't make up your mind, then guess what? The Lord will choose for you. Alright? The Lord will choose for you. This is Psalms 101 and verse 2. It says, I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when will thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. And this is how you are to be with a perfect heart, as David said. This is what he always also said. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. So guess what? He's not going to be in the congregation of the wicked. He's not going to be in the congregation of smokers or adulterers. I hate the work of them that turn aside. I will not cleave. It, will, it shall not cleave to me. It says, a forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. All right? So you hear it from our, fa our forefather David. He will not know a wicked person. So you can't say, well, oh, well, you know, the Lord, the Lord hang with, with, with adulterers and, and, and publicans. But guess what? The Lord was rebuking them. If you're not rebuking them, guess what? Where's, where's, your, where's your purpose to be among them? It says, depart from the unjust. David said he will not know a wicked person. 
all right and you have to be the, be the same depart from wickedness all right the scriptures say every man will cleave unto his like and if you realize that you are wrong two-thirds more than the than the brother than the brethren and guess what you need to check yourself because you're not in the right spirit you're not in the right spirit at all you need to check yourself if 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 two-thirds is your main company then you need to check yourself you know in the right spirit all right there's the final precept here this is ecclesiasticus chapter 9 and verse 15. it says let thy talk be with the wise and all not some all thy communication in the law of the most high you can't be talking about worldly shit with worldly niggas going on robberies smoking weed reminiscing on it on it on the good times there's nothing to reminisce about in this world all right it says um and let just men eat and drink with thee there's the men who's supposed to be in your congregation in your entourage in your inner circle just men and let oh, let thy glory and be in the fear of your shimmy out shy so if you dare reminisce on things that happen in the world then guess what you're not glorying in Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. You're glorying in the world. You're glorying in that old nigga that you once were. Alright? So as I said, there's bad company and there's good company. And the company that you want to be around is the good. Just remember, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. But the way of the wicked seduces him. It will seduce you to go back into that old life. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. It, it is polluted and it will destroy this. Um, destroy you it's polluted all right so you're supposed to be hasting to depart and to enter into the kingdom of the lord and not trying to be in the world and out the world at the same time so with that i want to give all praises honor and glory to Yahabah Hashem Yahushai. i want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well salutations to the men of the whole friend saying say let this is your brother Makaza from the trend.com saying shalom and stay strong shalom